Federal Reserve can't get in this business. Uh, that we're, the clearinghouses would be controlled by either the CFTC or the SEC, depending on what the appropriate situation is. Uh, the banks, the big banks don't like this, and uh, they're over lobbying the Financial Services Committee trying to get this sweetheart deal so that they can keep doing what they've been doing. Well, let me tell you, uh, you know, these guys not only should be not doing what they've been doing, they should be in jail, in my opinion, most of them. Uh, uh, so we're, you know, Senator Harkin is uh, working uh, to get our new chairman uh, confirmed. Uh, I think that's moving along somewhat, and uh, there's, I had some concerns about him. He came from Goldman Sachs uh, quite a while ago, but uh, I've spent a lot of time with him talking to him. He has basically endorsed my bill. and. Um, I think he's going to be okay, and the senators will have to figure out what they think. But uh, we need to get him confirmed. We need to move on this bill uh, between Tom and I, and uh, we will do that in due course, and uh, hopefully we can make sure that we don't ever get in this situation again. Uh, now, having said all of that, um, I wished I didn't know what I know. Uh, I wished I wouldn't have spent the last six months looking into this. And I wish I'd have never taken economics in college because it'd be a heck of a lot easier for me to deal with all this. But uh, this is this is bad. What's going on? And it's worse than uh, a lot of people I think recognize. My expectation is we're we're going to have to they're they're going to probably ask for another one to two trillion uh, in money to bail out these banks. Uh, I don't know exactly where that's going to end up, but I'm guessing we're going to see at least that much before we're done here. And I'll just, I'm going on way too long, and I got off on a different subject. But the other thing that I feel very strongly about, and I told the President the other night, and Biden and Rob Emanuel and those guys, that if we don't take this opportunity when we've put all this money into this system to break up these big banks, this is a huge mistake, you know. <laughs> Uh, we, sh we should not have any institution in the United States that is too big to fail and that requires the taxpayers to get behind them because we're afraid to let them go down. This is, we should have never let this happen in the first place and we should never let, let it happen again and as a condition of all this money we're giving them, we ought to break these outfits up and, you know, get them so they can go broke. Yeah. We, uh, I'll just very briefly, I, we're going to ask your questions, I guess, but uh, things that I think we need to look at uh, in the committee, food safety, uh, we're going to start hearings on food safety. Uh, we're looking into some things in conservation uh, in terms of uh, uh, some concerns I have about uh, payment limitations and so forth in conservation and in the regular programs. Uh, crop insurance, we still have some more work to do. Uh, we've, we're trying to get the computers modernized over at USDA. Uh, they've spent a hundred and some million bucks, and they're worse off today than they were. Um, you know, these FS, these computers that are in the FSA office, they have AS400 computers that are in these FSA offices, and they're still writing the software for the farm program in COBOL. And we have to go to the nursing homes and find people to bring them back to write these programs. Uh, we have got to get rid of that. Uh, and we have, I think, the right people down at USDA. They've come up with the right solution uh, to go to a web-based, PC-based uh, computer system that you could log on to from home and sign up and find out what's going on. And we've got to get this done. So that's something that's very much on my agenda. Um, we've been asked by the speaker to look into all of our jurisdictions. Even though we did a lot of this work in the Farm Bill, we are going to do what we're being asked, so we're going to have hearings and look into all of our jurisdictions to see if there's any problems going on, money can be saved, fraud and so forth, so we'll be doing that. and. Um, I had a discussion with the uh, secretary. I have not had a discussion with Tom about this yet. 
uh, that if everybody is serious uh, and willing to do what needs to be done, I still believe that we need to have a mandatory animal ID system in this country and we have to have traceback to the farm of our ag products. And that, that we're got our head in the sand if we don't do this, in my opinion. We, you know, we've, it happens over and over again with the peanut thing and the different problems that we have. And I just had a briefing by Homeland Security last Thursday on this issue about what would happen to us if uh, foot and mouth disease was introduced into this country by terrorists and the amount of money it would cost us. So we've got to do this, but you know, everybody's got to be willing to take this on and uh, I recognize there are some people, some of our friends out west that uh, don't uh, really want to do this, but um, I just think if we're going to get our markets back in Japan and Korea and, and uh, satisfy the folks that are concerned about food safety, uh, that this has got to be done. So we'll be looking at that potentially. I think we're going to go to 13 percent. My prediction is uh, on ethanol is a place to start here within the not too distant future. Uh, the ethanol industry will rebound, in my opinion, by the end of the year, uh, no matter what happens, uh, because uh, a lot of plants have been shut down. It's a bad way to do things, but the market's going to get back into balance, and hopefully we get the RFS up and uh, you know, we'll be in a profitable situation next year with, um, with uh, ethanol, which is another problem. As Tom said, uh, dairy has been a problem, especially in California. Uh, you guys from California, Joaquin, I said, see you standing back there. Uh, I just want you to know that your guys in California have been relentless on this issue. They're doing everything they can think of to try to address it. We know it's a big problem, but um, uh, we tried to get some things done in the stimulus bill, didn't happen, but uh, I think we're going to work out of this too because unfortunately a lot of farmers are going to have to uh, reduce their cows and it'll get back into balance. So we've got a lot of work to do yet on the committee. Uh, make sure the farm bill is implemented correctly. Uh, Secretary Vilsack wants to implement it the way we intended. That's a different deal than we had with the other guys. Um, and. Um, um, so we're going to be busy, and we, again, thank all of you for everything that you've done and uh, supporting our work and uh, helping us get a, not a perfect farm bill, but a pretty good farm bill for uh, rural America. So with that, we'll uh, take advice or answer questions.